Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Division video. What I've guessed today is a brand new video talking about the global event that is coming out next week. If you guys don't know, on January 14th through January 21st, we are getting the Strike Global event again, and I am pretty sure this is the second to last global event of 2019, um, or pretty much of the Division 1, because as you guys know, Division 2 is around the corner. So, if you are still missing some classified gear, if you're missing some masks, I will definitely get on and grind this global event and complete whatever you need. Anyway, I did want to make a video like this. I do understand there's some new players to the game or there's people returning. They want to kind of get back in the groove for the Division 2. And I wanted to explain this global event, kind of give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get the masks and the gear and stuff. Uh, so if you guys do enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Alright, so starting off first for the gear sets, what you can get from this global event is Classified Nomad, Classified D3 FNC, Classified Predator's Mark, and Classified Banshee. In my opinion, this is one of the best global events for gear, um, especially for PvP gear. Um, as you guys know, Predator's Mark is insane in the Dark Zone and insane in Last Stand. Banshee is really, really good for damage. Nomad is really good for survivability. And then you also have Defense, which is really good for PvP and PvE, whatever you decide to use it for. So, as I said, if you're missing a good build, if you're missing some gear pieces of these uh, classified items, 100% get on and grind this global event. Now, the first mask you can get is called the Classic Mask, and all you have to do for this one is complete a strike mission without taking explosive damage from an ally. The conditions for this mask are World Tier 5, Hard Difficulty or above, Tactical Strike Modifier, and also be in a group. Honestly, this one's really good, easy. Uh, the only thing you really have to do is just sit back, let your teammates do the mission, or let your friends do the mission. You could sit back, and you'll get the mask at the end of the game, so um, again, you could do this your first try, you could do this within 5 minutes if you do like, um, you know, any of the easier missions and the faster missions. The second mask you can get is called the Rider Mask, and this is what it looks like, and all you have to do for this one is complete a strike activity without taking any explosive damage. So again, for this one and the Classic Mask, all you have to do is just sit back on uh, the map or for the mission. I'm pretty sure you can do like Lexington as well for this one um, because it is part of the global event. So again, just start up the mission, play with your friends, play with randoms, and just sit back, don't do anything. You can even go AFK and then boom, you'll get the masks really easy. You can do them your first try. Um, again, the conditions for this mask are World Tier 5, Hard Difficulty or above, and have the Preemptive or Tactical Strike enabled. The final mask you can get is called the Jungle Mask, and this is what it looks like. And all you have to do for this one is kill 150 Riker bosses during strike. Now for this mask, there is no condition, so you can go in a lower world tier and just play by yourself, kill the bosses really easily, and uh, again, grind out this mask within a few hours. The playlist that is available for this global event, pretty much where you can activate the modifiers, are the Lincoln Tunnel, Lexington, Times Square, Power Plant, and the Stolen Signal Incursion. Um, again, you have Lexington, pretty much the best mission in my opinion if you're playing with a, uh, a a random team or just by yourself or with another friend if you don't have a set squad just do lexington uh you know enable one of the modifiers and you'll be able to get ge credits really quickly and uh just get the mask really fast lastly i do want to go over the modifiers so the first one that we have is strike and this one's always active and what it does is enemies explode after a delay when killed so pretty much when you kill them they will explode uh, nothing too really special, nothing too, uh, you know, complicated. The next one we have is Preemptive Strike. Uh, this is the Strike Behavior Plus. Sustained incoming damage triggers a small explosion on the agents. So if you do play with this modifier, um, if you get shot by the NPCs a lot, you will have a little bar fill up above your health, and when it gets to pretty much 100%, your character will, like, flinch, and, you know, explosion is gonna happen on your character, and you will take damage. The last modifier we have is Tactical Strike, and this is the Preemptive Strike Behavior Plus. Enemies are marked using Strike Explosions. When killed, they damage remaining enemies. Ally to ally explosion damage is increased. Uh, this modifier is a little bit more annoying because of the ally to ally explosion is increased. So if you do play, um, you know, something a little bit hard like an uh, incursion, and you guys are sticking together, this can get a bit more like annoying. But as long as you don't uh, kind of stick by each other really closely, if you play kind of far apart with your team. It should be good, and uh, again, all of these modifiers, in my opinion, are pretty easy. They're really easy to kind of avoid, and if you play with the right build, this uh, this global event is, is really a breeze. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really quickly, I do want to say, if you are in need of a build for this global event, I actually did a video in the past about it. 
uh, because as you guys know this global event was here previously a bunch of times so I did actually make a build video. It's nothing too special, it's kind of outdated, but if you are new, if you're coming back and you need a pretty decent idea for a build, I'd recommend checking that video out, it's going to be linked in the description. But honestly, the only thing you really need for this global event is a shield build, uh, something like a 4-piece defense with Savage Gloves, bare Chest Piece, is honestly the only thing you need, and uh, you should be good if you are grinding this by yourself or with your teammates, uh, you know, whatever the case is. But once again, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.